Hi all, Alex is here with another coaching tips for managers. And in previous two videos, I was talking about developing coaching skills and I want to continue this topic. And today I want to talk about style, your, your style as a coach. You see, there is no one right way to do coaching. And certainly when you just start, you, you mostly grappling with the basics, how to listen better, how not to interrupt, how to ask short and incisive questions. But as you get more and more comfortable with those uh, basics, you, you will start to see that there is a certain style of doing things. And you will start to see that you have your own strengths as a coach. And usually it is related to what you did before coaching. So if you were good with people, intuitive, and seeing things behind, behind the words, probably that's the thing that you will use in coaching as well. If you are a rational, systematic person, maybe that's the, that's the strength that you will bring into your coaching styles because you, you will help people understand more uh, comprehensively what's happening around them. So as you will be doing coaching, you will notice that you have certain things that are easier for you to do, either to gently interrupt people and put them back on track either to create a lot of space for them so that they are it's comfortable for them to think and come up with some new ideas it could be many many things but there is no uh, one right way to do coaching you will see a lot of uh, master coaches doing it differently and it doesn't mean that you need to copy them strive for what's comfortable for you what's natural for you and what is useful to your clients Again, sometimes you will ask them what you need to adjust, but even with, within this band, there's a lot of things that you can do in order to adopt your style. Or maybe even not work with some customers, because some clients, because they are not really your clients and your style doesn't fit them. So just wanted to make this point to, to let you know that there is a lot of freedom and flexibility for you to develop your own style. You don't need to stick with, with some particular points that you read about the books or uh, that somebody on the course told you. There is a way for you to develop your unique style and work with the clients the way you want. That's it for today. Uh, as usually, I recommend you joining my coaching community where I help people to learn coaching skills. You will find the link below this video and I'll be happy to see you there. So this is it for today. Bye and see you in the next installment.